Welcome back for another edition of To Read or Not To Read? That is the question. As you all know, March is National Women's Month, and this week I'd like to highlight some of our women who are scientists. I'd like to point out and share with you a couple of books that I think you will truly enjoy um, to celebrate some of these wonderful women. The first book that I'd like to highlight from our collection is Braiding Sweetgrass, Indigenous Wisdom, Scientific Knowledge, and the Teaching of Plants by Robin Wall Kimmerer. Um, this book we have here in our collection. We also have the audiobook and ebook version on Overdrive. I listened to the audiobook, which is actually narrated by the author, um, and it's an amazing book. If you have any interest in nature, um, the outdoors, our environment, combining that with her indigenous wisdom is a unique perspective um, in a way that we can look at the at the outside world through a different lens and so she is very passionate about combining her indigenous culture and background with her scientific background she's a botanist and through lessons through plants and what they can teach us about um, giving back to mother earth so i highly 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 suggest that you check out this unique reading the next scientist that I'd like to highlight in our collection is Jane Goodall. Uh, most of you know her from all of her work that she did studying the chimpanzees for over three decades in Africa. And this book, Through a Window, is actually the successor to Shadow of Man. And this book dives more into the intimate relationships that she got to witness when she was studying the chimps. Um, their mother-daughter, mother-son relationships. Um, different individuals and the specific roles that they played in their communities, and then how we benefited from science after her 30 years worth of research that she did um, while living and studying the, the chimpanzees. The third book that I'd like to highlight is Silent Spring by Rachel Carson. Um, this book single-handedly was able to kind of start the grassroots environmental movement in the 60s. Um, when this book was published in the early 60s, it um, was shocking to bring light to a lot of the pesticides that we were using and a lot of the human impl impacts that were being made on our environment. Um, so Rachel Carson is best known from this work. And we also have a children's ver version, uh, Rachel Carson and her book That Changed the World by Lori Lawler, illustrated by Laura Beansner. Hopefully I pronounced that right. <laughs> um, and this is a wonderful kids book as well that sort of summarizes the work that Rachel Carson did. The next book I'd like to highlight from our collection is Dinosaur Lady, The Daring Discoveries of Mary Anning, The First Paleontologist, Words by Linda Skears, and Pictures by Marta Alvarez Miguens. And this book um, is about Mary Anning, who was an English paleontologist and fossil collector living in London, um, and the discoveries that she made in the late 18 excuse me, late 1700s and early 1800s and how they contributed to what we know now as the paleontological fossil record um, and what we learned from the species that she discovered and how amazing it was for a woman during that time period um, to be so influential. Again, Dinosaur Lady, highly suggested. It's in our youth section upstairs. The last book from our collection that I'd like to highlight is Code Girls, The Untold Story of the American Women Codebreakers of World War II by Liza Mundy. And this book um, talks about during World War II how um, a bunch of women in secrecy in Washington, D.C. and Arlington, Virginia were to learn how to break the German and Japanese codes. And a lot of their accomplishments and successes that saved numerous lives um, even helped shorten the war all of their accounts and what they did and how during that time for women to be in such positions was uh, groundbreaking. So these pioneering women in the field helped contribute a lot to World War II. Code Girls, again, by Liza Mundy. There are other books that I'd like to highlight as well, and I'll show you those in a second. Um, a bunch of them ha talk about women in science. A lot of them are just short, one-page summaries of the famous women in science. And then other books that I didn't get a chance to talk about today, like Sally Ride, The First Woman in Space. I will show you pictures of those as well and how you can attain them. Don't forget to check out more selections on Overdrive and the Libby apps. And then stop by and see us today if you're interested in checking out one of these books. We'll see you next week on another edition of To Read or Not To Read. That is the question.